Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. And this week's theme is forest animals. And here are some of the books that we will be reading. The Sneaky Snacky Squirrel, The Sleepy Owl, Good Night Owl, Rockabye Baby, and Wow, said the owl. On our felt board, we have the set for Owl Babies, and I do not know where I got those printables. I'm talking those are probably, gosh, 18 years old, and I took them out of, it was some teaching book, and I laminated them, and so Owl Babies is another favorite book that we will be reading, and we can put the, um, we can reenact the story with this, on this flannel board. In our block area, we have set up our train table so that it has differ different magnetic pieces. I absolutely love magnetiles. They are a favorite in every single class, no matter what age of our preschool. And then I also added these fun magnetic wands and balls. And those are part of a set that I got last year from Gooby Juniors, and it is actually very safe for younger children. Um, it can be ages one and up, so that's one of the reasons why I got them as well, and they're a lot of fun. On our science and explorations table, we will be studying bats. We have some um, plastic as well as a kind of a plush bat, and then we also have some bats hanging in our window. In a dramatic play area, I found these really fun woodland animal felt masks from Amazon. We have some here, and then we also have some over there that are hanging on our dress-up cart. And then we just have some different um, fruits and vegetables and some wood bowls and containers. And then I have our little display. On our writing table, I've created some printables. We have a skunk, a squirrel, and an owl and I'll put the link to, the, to these in the description if you would be interested in downloading them. And then on our light table, I put another printable that I have created that you match the colors to the same color as the owl. Over on our easel, we will be taking these little owl stamps, dipping them into paint, and pressing them onto paper. And in our sensory bin, we have our forest animals and we have our tree blocks. We have rice that I've dyed different shades of brown. And of course, we always have scoops and containers because that's what they absolutely love to do in this bin. On our activity table, we will be working on moving from left to right using these little fine motor cards. For our younger preschoolers, I'm simply going to use the one that has the fox because it has a straight line. But for our older children, we can start working on trying to follow the curves that lead to the forest animal. We also have these squirrel counting cards of another principle that I made. And then we just have a knob puzzle, and because this week's, excuse me, this month's featured shape is the square, I took our square printable, and then we have our nesting blocks. And these are the same nesting blocks that we used to do our stamp, square stamp painting last week. For our art activity, I am going to use the same printables that we have here. I'm going to copy them onto her, um, cardstock, heavy paper, and they're going to paint them. And then I'm going to take some really large, they almost look like paint stirrers, large sticks, and I'm going to attach the animals to them so that we can use them during our circle time when we talk about our forest friends. And at our Play-Doh table, we will be sticking these owls into Play-Doh. These are just some simple owls. I use the same um, cookie cutters that are over at the easel. I use them to make, to make these owls. I just traced the cookie cutter and I just um, glued them onto popsicle sticks and now we have plenty. We have two baskets of them that they can press into the Play-Doh. And again, I always put out our favorite tools too, such as our 
um, our rolling pins and our um, other little cutters and slicers and things like that. So that's how our two and three year old classroom is set up for our forest animals theme. Thanks for watching.